Morning guys, um, I'm out checking sets again today. I'm not expecting a whole lot just because uh, I was out yesterday, but uh, I'm sure I'll pick up a little bit of fur. And I know I will because I just came to my first cage and I pulled it up, it was underneath the two logs in the channel here. And as you can see, I got a little muskrat. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got one. <laughs> it's only the second location I've checked. I uh, checked out the first one with three floats and uh, two mink cubbies and three one tens and didn't get anything. But like I said, I'm not expecting a whole, whole heck of a lot of fur today just because I was already out the last few days. So we'll get him out of there. And we'll get the trap back down in the thing. That log stays in place. Oh. Well, that might be why I didn't catch as many as I thought I would. My door, other door wouldn't open properly. Unless he got stuck. So, there's Mr. Muskrat. Nice size. That's good. We'll take that. Just check this other door, make sure it's working. See if I can't fish this thing back down and in there. We uh, got a little bit of ice last night. It froze. That's okay though. Where'd my stick go? So. Yeah, I'll turn you off. I'll get this reset and I'll carry on. Okay, so as I'm driving along, um, one of the guys on YouTube did something yesterday that I thought was pretty cool in one of his videos. He uh, kind of gave a bunch of people a shout out. Um, that was Abe, Abe Dreiger. I'll uh, start with him. He's a good coyote hunt trapper, catches lots of coyotes, and uh, does good with muskrats as well. So check him out. And uh, while I'm at it, some of the other channels that I watch that I really try and make sure I check out their videos whenever they post one because they have lots of experience or they just really know what they're doing. Um, so I started off with Abe and I already gave three guys a shout out not too long ago so I'm not going to mention them again. If you want to know who they are, just check out my shout out and updates video. Um, but, yeah, so yeah, check out Abe Dreiger. I believe I pronounced that right, I'm not sure. Um, good coyote trapper, like I said. Bradley Coles, he's a real, another good guy. I like watching his videos as well. Uh, that Martin box is empty. Uh, HDF Farm Boy, he's just starting out, but he's got a couple good little videos every now and again. So, uh, check him out and uh, see what you think. He's Gonyo, everybody knows Gonzo, but check out Gonzo, he's, uh, he's Gonyo, he's got lots of great videos, and I think I'm probably the only person who actually pronounced your name right there, Heath. Uh, most guys say Gangnon, it's Gonyo, for those of you who aren't sure. <laughs> uh, at least I'm 90% sure of that. Uh, Irish Trapper. He's a guy from Ireland. He, the guy can slay fox like you wouldn't believe. He picks up quite a few and uh, does very well with them. He also does magpies, which I'm not sure. I guess it's a cut type of bird. And uh, mink and marten. So check him out. Jason Robert. We all know the BC Nuki. He's uh, got a couple great videos out there. Kayak Trapper. Um, I don't have seen him put out any new videos lately, but he does have a, quite a few good uh, muskrat kayaking videos. So check him out. Uh, muskrat 411, another good guy. A lot of good videos on his channel as well. <coughs> NL Ghost Wolf, Ghost Wolf helped me out quite a bit last year or with my snares. So. Uh, Check him out as well. 
NS Trapper Hunter, another good channel. Uh, Rodney Newberry, most of us know Rodney by now, but check out Rodney Newberry. He's another good little trapper from the East Coast. Uh, Ryan Desjarle, he's out in BC. He can does a lot of wolf trapping and uh, does very well. So you can check him out as well. Uh, Todd Wittenmeyer, he's uh, down in the state someplace. I think you're in Kentucky, I believe. Or, yeah, something like that near Kentucky. Not quite sure exactly, but check him out. He's a uh, back to the earth, back to the land kind of guy. Seems to be, he uh, does very well and uh, just got himself a bunch of new traps. So good luck with your new traps there, Todd. Uh, the busy bayman, Chris Rumble. He's out in the East Coast as well, in Labrador and Newfoundland. He does very well, and uh, well, he's having a slow start, but don't worry, his fur will pick up, and when it does, it really will. Um, Wallace Vill Vivian, another good guy. He started about the same time I did, actually, and uh, seems to do very well. I think he just got a coyote not too long ago, and does very well with all his traps and finish off with of course everybody knows William Larkham Jr. the big land trapper so check out William as well so that's my list of channels oh and I guess 204 or and he's another guy I've been watching lately and uh, he seems to do fairly well has a lot of different kind of sets just does okay so check out check those guys out and uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go check out some sets. So we'll see you after, and hopefully I got some more fur to turn you back on for. Hey guys, I'm at this uh, beaver pond. I got a muskrat float just over there. Um, but I was gonna set snares along this trail that I've been walking, and I'm kinda glad I didn't because it looks like a moose walked through here, and he would've just screwed up my sets anyways, or worse. So, Maybe I ran into a moose this morning. Hope he's not a bull. Um, that floats still got nothing in it. So I'll walk across the dam, check out my two 330s. Um, I left two here, not for the beaver, but for any otters that might pop up or come through here. I caught an otter out of here last year, so you never know. Maybe one will come back up, but I'll walk over, check them out, and then we'll uh, carry on. All right, that's kind of weird. Um, trap's been set off, but there's still bait in the back. So, not sure exactly what happened. But we'll uh, get it reset. At least I don't have to rebate. And then uh, I got a, another 220 in the little creek here, just for any otter that might come by. So I'll check it out. Okay, I uh, know I just just turned you off, but I uh, thought I'd show you this. There's a game trail right there. Heads up that way. And then the heads up that way. So maybe next time I come back, I'll uh, set a few snares or I'll wait till the snow falls and see what's on here. Maybe I should put a Martin box in here, but I have one on the other side, not far from here. So there's no point in having two within 10 feet of each other. Um, and I can hear the crows going crazy at my bait pile. I'm not sure what's going on over there. But I guess we'll find out when I come up to it. So I'll turn you back off and if there's something interesting going on there while well, I'll turn your back on. Hey guys, I'm just at the uh, culvert where I picked up that big otter uh, a couple days ago and I can see my trap was set off. So we'll take a little walk in here. I think I got another one. Oh, no, I got a friggin' baby beaver. <laughs> a 220. Oh, that's okay. Cool. So, 
just a little guy. I'm not sure where he came from because up there there wasn't a hut. And I got him from coming from up there. So, oh well, that's cool. A little baby beaver. I'll take that. Oh, he has a tree in his mouth going that way. So maybe the hut, there's another hut down this way. I'll take a walk up and see in a minute. I'll get him out though. Apparently this little guy likes to uh, travel. He's got a couple scars on his tail for being so young. That's kind of funny. I wonder how many scars he's got on his back. I'll have to check that out when I skin him up. But, oh well, that's fine. At least it's a beaver and there's Mr. Rat. So like I said, I'll carry on and turn you back on when I got Hey guys, um, I'm at a beaver pond. The road's just there. This one here is a little bit of nuisance call slash private property that I'm allowed to trap on. Um, the hut is actually on the other side of the road. And there is a smaller hut down here, but I think that's the one they used last year. And holy shit, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a bald eagle. That's pretty cool. Huh, cool. Anyways, um, I got a little kit here, and then I got another one in the crossover over here. So, uh, I'll give you a show of the one in the crossover. Slash dam break. Without getting too wet. This one's not huge either. Not small, but not huge. So, that's cool. Two more beavers, giving me uh, three beavers and one rat today. And I still have to go check out my fox bait pile, which I'm thinking coyotes are starting to come into. And if that's the case, well, I'm gonna fix that with coyote snares. So, in the meantime, I'll get these two guys out, carried back to the truck, and uh, reset. And maybe I pick up mom and pa. Well, that might be ma or pa, but he's not huge either, so I'm guessing ma and pa still haven't got caught yet. But anyways, two little kits, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'll take three beavers any day. Doesn't matter how big they are. So, awesome. So I'll turn you back on if I got anything at the bait pile. Hey guys, I'm at my bait pile for Fox, and um, well, this snare is pulled down, it's all twisted up around the tree. And something came through here and got itself caught, but just barely, I guess. I'm not sure what it, it almost looks like a coyote. So I guess I'll have to, uh, when I go home, I'll pick up some coyote snares and I'll come back here this afternoon and set this with a few coyote snares. So they haven't been back, but. Still kind of a pain. Whatever it was, it had the snare pulled tight. Now oh, that snare's all messed up and twisted. Okay, I'll have to bring any snare into that one. That kind of sucks. Uh, that one's got nothing. Not sure what happened to that other one. That one's got nothing. I'll go check the other two, three. And uh, like I said, when I come back later on this afternoon, I'll bring a few coyote snares and walk up around that way a little ways. And down over there just to see. I can't find any decent trails, so. Hmm, interesting. But, not fun. I'm gonna maybe plop a few more fox snares in here, but we'll see. Okay, I'll talk to you after.